This one was hot. Mm -hmm. We're all a little hot. So even the camera is hot. It said, nope, I'm not working today. Thank you, Willow. different day what's up y'all welcome back to the journey so yeah as you've seen on our part one video that we just about got the deck done <laughs> now it's basically done I did run on screws so but you guys got the gist of what was going on and as you see behind me I'm standing right here in front of the ridge and now we need to get this thing moved but before I can do that, I need to go up there. And that's like tick heaven. Not looking forward to this. But it's got to get done. So let's go do it. I didn't fall. All right. I'm putting that to where, because these are not welded eyes, I'm putting that to where this opening is down because this is actually going to be going uphill where my anchor point is. So it's pulling more up onto the top of the eye and not the bottom wanting to open it up. Boom biscuits. Yep. All right, so I got my chain hooked up. Got that one hooked up to that eye. This one hooked up to that eye. Now, I'm gonna go grab the come along, connect it from there to the chain sitting right here. And that goes to my anchor up there. And we'll get this thing slid over about four feet. Okay, so I finally got all the chains hooked up. I actually had to go and haul this chain by hand all the way over from the cabin build site because come along wasn't long enough to connect. And I wasn't going to drive the tractor, but battery's dead. Go figure. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll throw you guys up on a uh, time lapse and let's get this uh, flooring slid over to about ish
Must have had a little bit of rain come through last night. That's why all the flowers and the worms. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, I left a lot of stuff out last night. Lovely. All right. So that little bit that you've seen, uh, I got interrupted by a phone call. Glad it's called me. And, uh, yeah, apparently... Walmart doesn't carry my brand of deodorant anymore, so awesome. But I went ahead and got this repositioned. Now, uh, even though I've put in a bunch of nails into this thing, um, it is actually starting to pull that away, as you can see. So I need to get that corrected uh, before I do anything further, which I'm going to go ahead and get some of those long screws that I was using for the bridge build. If you haven't seen that we're building a bridge, go check that out. I'll have that playlist um, at the end of this video. You can go check that out. But it's also pulling a lot more on this side than it is that side. So I can always adjust that by where it's pulling on this chain. I'll just move it over to the side a little more. But it also bent my eye bolts. Either bent them or just pulled them like that hopefully not bent but they're holding this is sliding it's heavy but i'm gonna go ahead and go grab some of those longer bolts probably some clamps i'll, I'll get this uh, clamped up best i can with what i got throw some of those long screws down in there from the top to hold it as i'm uh, bringing this through because eventually i'm going to put some of those long screws down all of these but i need to pre-drill um into the plywood and stuff like that and that's actually why i, I brought that out i just haven't done it yet because i didn't think it was going to do this but so let's get that fixed and then we will continue sliding this over okay so i've readjusted i've gotten all the bolts in i put some screws in from the top like that and then also got some screws in on the side like that to hopefully hold it all together so let's see what happens Coffee. Not my gum job button. What's gonna happen now? Is I'm gonna need to right, let's go see how we're looking in the front. The wife says she learned. You know, at least three feet, which, I don't know, we're getting there. I think I need to pull a little more from this side again. So, let's see what we got. That's almost four, so that's good. Still a little crooked, but that's fine. We'll get it straightened out a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach that chain to... Or the come along to a little further over to the left try to just pull that corner around just a hair and then we'll go grab the farm jack and jack up the back get this thing leveled out and also got to get this other uh, runner put on so all right let's get to it all right so i just uh, went ahead quick off camera I uh, jacked this side up, it's up on blocks. No, it's not level. So as you can see here, um, it is high on this side because I still need to attach this runner. So I went ahead and also cut my angles on the ends. All right, 
and then I still need to basically make it flush to the joist, to the, the edge there. Make sure that these are also touching. And then get it nailed in, screwed in. And then we'll work on uh, gathering up some rocks. I think I got plenty. I have rocks all in here. I have a bunch of rocks over there. More rocks over there. All kinds of rocks on the ridge. And a whole bunch of rocks in between those trees where we've been piling them up. So I got plenty of rocks. Uh, for right now, <laughs> it's coming up on lunchtime. I've already been out here uh, since early this morning. Came out, did the, the scuttlebutt. Gladys is actually on her way back from uh, town from doing grocery shopping and and other errands and, and such. Um, so I'm going to go in, check up on the, the kiddos. They're over in the RV. They've been watching movies, listening to music, playing Minecraft, just all kind of stuff. I've, I've been poking my head over there. Um, so I've had to go back over there several times, which is... A long walk way over yonder <laughs> and I got the battery charging up on the tractor see what's going on with that later but then take a quick break for lunch and just cool down a little bit refill my jug because it's empty of water and or tea and then we'll get back at it who all right you guys so I actually took a little bit longer lunch than I expected because obviously Gladys had made it back from the grocery store but then she had to do other stuff in town here locally along with taking the oldest to band practice. Regardless, I came back out. Obviously, I left the uh, both my cameras out here. Uh, the GoPro along with my, my old phone is what I'm using. It's the LG V60. The camera is still great i love it better than my new phone actually <laughs> so i still use it and until you know obviously we can get something better but anyway with the cameras being too hot to use it doesn't stop production so i was still able to come in here and i finished screwing down uh, those last two decks that needed to be done because uh, we got some some more exterior basically construction screws deck screws and then i got the new uh, skid runner thing whatever i got that installed as well so all that's left to do now is find some big rocks which i was really hoping i could use a tractor for that but i'm still charging the battery the battery was dead so i'm just gonna have to go and lift with my legs not my back and obviously I, I probably could find one rock that would fit you know a big enough rock to just do one rock but i'm probably gonna have to do you know multiple flat rocks that are dry stacked hey it's been done for hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of years so i'm not too worried about it for a temporary structure and the biggest thing though is not only do I need to put rocks like in the corners here on the edge, you know, at least within a foot, but I would also like to be able to put, you know, every four foot, give or take. So one here in the middle, one there in the middle, especially where the four by fours come together, you definitely need one there. And then same thing, middle and then end, but the thing with that though is I have the other runner that's in there so I'm going to have to either myself or Gladys is going to have to climb under there to also put some supports um, underneath so that's going to be fun doing a little army crawl to you know at least at a bare minimum put a good rock in where the two four by fours meet you know, to at least have the, the good solid one right there in the middle. And then here, because that, I mean, that's giving you an, an eight foot span, which 
I mean, four by fours, eh, they, they probably should only span a four foot distance. So, but if, if we can't get, cause I know once you get to like over here to this side, it gets really, really skinny up in there. And I know, and we would have to crawl in from this side all the way over as far as you can. And I just don't think it's going to happen. So, but if we can at least get one to the middle, get one on that far end, get one on this end, I, I think we'll be all right. And then obviously those two are sitting on the concrete slab the entire way. So not too worried about that. So I got one in the corner, two here. So I'm just gonna keep finding some rocks. So I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some progress. Sorry I wasn't able to take you along for the journey, but yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Cameras don't wanna work when it's hot. So I got basically this whole skid done. I still gotta put rocks on the inner skid, but got that one in the corner, two there, three on that one, two on that one, and then two with a, a little shim rock <laughs> on this one. And I still got to build the uh, bubble or the uh, water level. But my bubble level, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, I mean, it's within 16th of an inch in a four foot span, obviously. And then... That's right on the money, 16th. But this is also why I want to build, you know, the the water level, because then I get over here, and it, it says that this corner is like super low, right? And then checking it here. Basically, it's saying that this corner is high in comparison to over there. So, uh, yeah. I, I wanted to get some walls knocked out today, but I think it's going to take a little bit longer to get the floor level. Especially seeing how we're trying to do it. So, I'm going to leave it for today. It is super hot. I need to go cool off. It's already almost 5 o'clock at night. So I'm only supposed to work until five o'clock and then start winding down. I mean, obviously if something is like super, super pressing, we might work a little bit later, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to wind down and get some stuff going. Cause I know Gladys is gonna have to run up to the school to take the kiddo her dinner over for band practice. And I'm gonna have to be at the RV for that because of the little one, so. All right, so I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Floor is done. Took actually a couple days to get that leveled uh, with stacking the dry stones that you guys had uh, already seen. And yes, we also needed to be able to level that out there in the center and such that way we didn't have a bowl because yeah, mom and dad's got some heavy stuff. Mom is a little bougie. She wants her king size bed that is a super heavy, solid, like oak <laughs> frame. It's one of the big, fancy, you know, beds from like the 70s, 80s. I don't know. But anyway, it's going in here and she's going to be comfortable. Dad's going to be comfortable. They want to be comfortable. 
And I don't blame them because the bed in the RV is not all that great. I wish I had a king size bed. But anyway, you guys, it's time to get started on some walls. What do you think, baby? It's hot. <laughs> yep, it is hot. Turn even more brown. Whew. All right, so I was actually a thunking. Look at that, 12 feet. That over. And she's thunking that we're gonna be able to put this tent up there and then build stuff. But per the instructions, it has you go through and build all the walls first, and then set those walls off to the side, and then build all the roof trusses, and then set all the roof trusses off to the side because you're building everything up on the deck. So. I think that it's actually gonna be easier if we do the roof trusses first, because for one, it's smaller. We've gotta move them off to the side anyway. So we're gonna do that and then move those off to the side and then build the walls. As we're building each wall section, we will then stand it up. So, you ready? Sure. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start off with our roof gables, starting off with the end gables. We went through and we snapped a line. I don't know if you can see that on the ground, a red line. Just to give us a, a nice straight reference. And actually, I'm going to throw down some screws. Just to kind of act as a clamp. Two more. I just put some screws here just to make sure that this is not going to move as I'm nailing it. And then I'll take those screws back out to the bottom. Six nails per side. Try not to waste nothing. If it bent, straighten it back out. And do another one just like it. All right, once you got your second uh, base board down, then you take your, you get nine blocks. So these little blocks, they get used more than once because they also get used in the build. So it's best to pre-drill some holes so you don't split them, but go ahead and get your board right there on that line. And then go ahead and put your, your end braces in, your bottom brace in the middle and then end brace here. And then at the bottom, get it all lined up. And then we'll grab the two rafters here to start putting them towards the top. And then once we figure out where those are going to go, those other blocks will go into place. You know, kind of like that. And then once this one is done, then the other ones will go together based on the exact same spot. Dog is good. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small 
We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be In the great outdoors blocks go on the other side there that way we can nail in from the bottom So this one is completely done and then you do that one more time like i said and then we will get into doing the other uh, trusses that go on the center span all right be right back all right i finally got all the blocks put in place so these blocks here are actually not part of the instruction but all of these rafters here are actually going to show on the inside of the shed. So I wanted to make sure that they're all at the same height and basically level to my reference line. So basically you move these blocks here over to the corner. You know, it even says in the instruction to move it per that detail. Okay. But then, as you can see, right, it doesn't say anything about this. It doesn't give you a measurement of where to put it. You're just basically putting that down to where it's level to that side. But even though it may look level, you might be, you know, a quarter inch high on this side compared to that side per your reference line. Okay? Because I even tried it. I threw it up there. I was like, yep, this looks level that looks level and then i took a measurement to my line all right so i busted out the tape took a measurement from here all right just there as it's level on the side now it's level and took a measurement down to my line and my first measurement i had it was like 17 and 7 eighths right right now it's 18 and a quarter Okay, and then I came over here, measured it and looked, and I was like, oh, well, it was 18 and like an eighth or a little little over 18 and an eighth. And I was like, huh, well, that's not good. So I wanted to make sure that these were the same. So I went ahead and made those blocks. That way, every single one that I put in is 18 and a quarter high from the top of the top plate okay because that's basically that's where that sits that little angle right there sits on top of the wall all right so and i just wanted to share that little detail just in the event that you guys are going to be doing the same thing now if you're putting you know a, a roof in or like a false roof on the inside of your shed you might be able to get away with a little bit you know of it being a little wonky but we want it to be straight so that's what i did now that all my blocking is in place i can go ahead and start putting everything together so first is your ridge gussets right and obviously i made sure that everything was lined up up here at the top that my peaks were matching okay because 
nobody wants a, an unmatching peak, right? You put some wood glue down. Make sure this is not sticking up above the top. You know, I, I try to do like a little quarter inch reveal because it, it will affect the uh, the panel or the plywood that goes up on the top for your roof. This gets nailed in with uh, the 6D two inch nails. All right. And then after I get my cross brace uh, done, then you flip this over and you flip the gusset on the other side as well. But first, I need to put my cross brace in. Okay, this gets actually put in with screws. So it's recommended to pre-drill so you're not splitting the wood. I'm up against my block and that I am flush to my edge. And then do the other side. That's not it. Now I flip it over and I do the other gusset. Oh, why does it gotta be so hot? So hot. It's so Don't worry about screwing those down. It's just there temporarily. Then you repeat that six times. Woo. All right, so the, the foreman's out here inspecting my work. Yeah. We actually ended up getting rained out a little bit. Her assistant, yeah. our, our GM. Hi. <laughs> out here, what, what do you think? Did okay. Has mommy and daddy been doing good work? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we doing good work? Yeah. Yeah? We have a dink of work. You see all the stuff we've been building? Yeah. Does it look nice? Yes. Oh, okay. Mommy's cooking breakfast inside. So yeah, because it's the next morning. We got rained I, out. I was driving. I was driving like really. Oh. Like, was there a lot of thunder last night? Last night there's thunder. Mm. Oh, wait, what, Dad, come here. Did you hear thunder? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. So we're going to get back up to the to the RV, but we're going to go ahead and call this one for today. 
we're going to continue uh, up next is the walls so if you want to continue following the journey of this build then we definitely appreciate you guys for following the journey and you can always check out some of the other videos here or the playlist over here all right definitely appreciate you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already it's greatly appreciated last but not least remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get not only on veterans day and we'll see you on the next one bye there you go. <laughs>